Right, so we're back out in Belgium, but this time on the canals. We haven't actually done much filming on the canals, have we? So No, we've only done one, well I've only done one session on the canals. So we thought we'd come, come here, bring the camera, see what we get up to, but we've travelled throughout the day this time and it took a lot longer than normal. <laughs> yeah. I think we set off about seven in the morning, got here at seven in the evening. So yeah, 12 hours on the road, delays on the tunnel. It's been chaos, really. The so. drive down to the tunnel was absolutely sound, wasn't it, to be fair? Yeah. And then when we got to the tunnel, we said there was an half an hour delay. We thought, oh, that's nothing. Then it turned to a, an hour delay, and then we were sat there for like two and a half hours. So yeah, it's just one of them things, but. It's been a long day, but. Oh yeah, it's been a, definitely a long day. Found some fish. Yeah. And the rods are out, so. First night, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens tonight and get on the move tomorrow. One or two bikes last night, not a bad way to start. A smaller one or two, the other one's a mirror, and it's quite a lot bigger. So, we'll get this one slipped back, it's a bit angry. Get this slip back, get the other one out, and we'll take a look at that. Look at that. No, that's a proper one, mate. Look at his head. It's like an ashtray. It's beautiful. Lovely cat. Well, I don't know how she looks, but a bit lively. This is the first part of the two, just before it got light. What a way to start trip. This old mirror, we haven't weighed it yet, but I'd say low 30, low to mid 30. What a car, buzzing. Well done, mate. So, we've moved. I said earlier that I was moving because there was a group of fish just around the corner. They seemed to push off where we actually settled. So yeah, we ended up moving again about five o'clock and it was red on. <laughs> <laughs> was a bit more than that. Um, but yeah, anyway, rods are out now. We've had some tea. It's just a waiting game now, really. It is, but we've got some nice tea, had some wedges. Steak and quite nice to be fair. Uh, it took a while because I was running out of gas, so the wedges took about an hour. But we got there, <laughs> we got there eventually. But yeah, the rods are out. We found four nice spots in between the weed. We've seen quite a few fish up here, so it's just a waiting game. Hopefully, we have a bite in the night or early morning and we can update the camera. But for now, we're going to sit back on the bed chairs, wait for it to get dark and get our heads down. No mosquitoes tonight, no mosquitoes. Definitely no red ants because they they do work. If anyone's <laughs> ever been bit by a red ant, they know what I'm talking about. I've never seen so many ants in my life. No, especially in your bed. <laughs> no matter what, no matter what we did, <laughs> we just couldn't get rid of the ants, and we got bitten to shreds by these ants, and they fucking. Hurt. So none of that tonight. Hopefully, we'll have a good few hours kit. Get up in the morning, and we'll assess the situation from there. Yeah. See what happens. Like slam, mate, doesn't it? Some tidy birds around here, though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
there is there is some tidy birds around here. It's a shame we don't speak any French, mate, because <laughs> I'd have some right conversations with them. Honestly, they are they're just nice. But all I can say is bonjour. <laughs> anyway, the women. You can look them, but you can't touch them. One job. This is the best advice Dom can give. What about women? Yeah. Just stay single, lads. Honestly, <laughs> it's not worth your hassle. Don't have any children. And stay single. Live the Ollie life, as I call it. What I, don't life's bad, that? I don't live a bad life, to be fair. Go fishing when I want, do what I want. It's nice. But to an exception. Ollie life. There isn't really an exception. Just do go fishing. I don't sit in the pub. I don't, I don't do drugs. I just go fishing everywhere. That's what life should be about. Outdoors, doing your own thing, create your own paths. It's a bit of subsurface now, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's enough for me. Say, mate, it's been a tough 24 hours, hasn't it? <coughs> yeah, it's been That's red hot. Red hot. Water clarity is the canal, so you can't really see them. We like to see them, find them, fish for them. But at the minute, we're having no luck at all. Nah. So, it's just one of them. We've got, we're got. we going to go and try another few stretches, but hopefully the water clarity is a bit better and then we can find a few and try and catch them. But up to now, it's just been trying to find them. There's no point, if you, there's no point trying to find them. Uh, fish from you can't find them, sorry. So that's the situation we're at the minute. We're at a part where we've seen a lot of fish in the past, and we always see them here. We've seen them here a couple of times. I've seen them a few more times than you because I've Did been up here. Yeah. But yeah, walk like shit, can't see them. Seen the odd one, maybe maybe two off the bridge, but apart from that, yeah, dead. It's just not the one, is it? Nah. And before we come here, we, I had a quick walk, a different stretch. Dead. Yeah, I think this he must have started some type of algae, algae bloom, maybe? I don't know. So it's changed water quality a lot. It's just murky, dark, isn't it? It's not normally jinx, it's normally tap water clear. Yeah, see everything. On most of the stretches, but you can see everything, see where they go, but now it's just dark, it's dingy. It's like, it's like our mood. But we're gonna try and rectify it, try and get a few fish, and we'll see what happens. So, I'll catch up with you later on. We'll see. Well, just trying to find them off the bridge. It's proving a bit difficult, to be fair. How are you getting on, Al? Not seeing car. <laughs> <laughs> Normally. Normally we see loads off here. Normally they're here. Especially in there. Every trip, they're here. And down there, around that bend, over there, you normally see quite a few. But the water's normally gene clear. But as you can see, pretty dark and dingy. Yeah. Welcome. On this side, is the same again. It's just not the one. We're gonna have to go somewhere else, aren't we? We'll go try a few stretches further down. Hopefully, the clarity's changed. But yeah, this one's pretty. So then, Dom, what happened yesterday? Well, yesterday we did the night on a stretch, and then we um, we moved. To a different part of the the canal where we saw loads of fizz and you went for a walk in the morning didn't you mate and you found them and so we moved we barred around we barred the gear around and then the sun was up the sun was all over the uh, the pads in the corner and we lowered some rigs in but after about half an hour to an hour they just did the off and it just went dead so we decided to go find another stretch um, and we went there normally the water clarity on there is pretty pretty clear you can see a few, it's, it's really nice stretch but the clarity was rubbish, it was proper murky and we didn't see a single fish. Oh no, I'll tell a lie, we saw one off the bridge, 
um, on the left hand side but that's the only fish that we saw so we decided to go for another wonder down and on another stretch um, which was also murky but the one that's further down from the stretch that we're on now is clear and we didn't really see the ones in there we saw the white one but the white one only gives the game away which is a, a white koi but that wasn't with any either so it was pretty hard going yesterday so we didn't see much so we just decided to go on a stretch we thought that this stretch has quite a few big fish in it so we thought we might as well do a night on this stretch because there's a few big fish so we thought there might be a chance of a bite and if, it, if we do get a bite it'd be pretty big and we've had a couple of bites this morning uh, the beat's about mid 20 nothing spectacular but it's a bite to start but today what's the plan for today mate We've got um, it's raining at the minute, so yeah, a bit of a thunderstorm last night, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the thunderstorm rolled, and I said to all, said that there'll probably be uh, a few fish turn up, and they have. So we've had a few bites. Well, we had to move. Yeah, we did move. Yeah. Yeah, we moved we out. On the other end, and a couple of locals turned up, and they sat right next to us. So we leapfrogged them and come up here out of the way. We had quite quite a lot of canal to ourselves. And then the weather front moved in, and we've had a few bites, so it's paid off really. It was a good shout from all. Moved in the dark, yeah. about half nine. We did. Got mate. the rods out. Yeah, it's paid off. Three bites two for you, one for me, and a rat for me. Yeah, that was horrendous. <laughs> it was the biggest rat I've ever seen in my life. We laughed though, as we do. We didn't laugh, we were trying to one up it. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so the plan today, we're going to wait for, I think we're going to wait for the rain to stop and we're going to wait to a different stretch of canal and go from there really, see if we can catch a few more. We've got one more night left, so... We need to get these fish out. We need to get a few more. We'd like to film a few more, obviously. It makes a film, but we're going to just sit back and chill out. Hopefully have a few more bites from this stretch. If not, we're going to get off probably about dinner time and go find some more calf if we can. I'm going to put kettle on. On. Make a coffee. Sit back. Photograph. Photograph the two fish. The a couple of fish in the wide. slings. And then the go from there. Me. We wanted a bit of rain, didn't we? But this is a bit. We wanted a bit of rain. We the thunder and lightning. I thought it would be worse, to be fair, but it's not. It's alright. So. It's not alright when you've got to pack up and. I've spotted fish in different stretches, but. We have, a, we have an idea of where they'll be, don't we? So, yeah. I am itching my hands because I've, I've been bit by a couple of moggies. But it's not, not worse than them. Oh, can't swear. For them red ants. Them red ants for a red <laughs> They do work when they bit you. So, but yeah. Right. That. See you later. The better one of the two for myself last night. Nothing massive, but a move in the dark has paid off, hasn't it, mate? It has, mate. It certainly has. You've had a couple of nice ones. This one being the better one for me. The other one was only small. We'll just put that back. But, yeah, happy days. I think it's time to get wrapped up now. Might have a couple of hours just down the other end. Seeing a few down there this morning as well. Then we'll get on the move and head to somewhere else for the final night. Let's do it, mate. Let's go. So this is my second bite from last night after the move from down the other end after the locals turned up and it's a, a result i must say so yeah i'm going to slip it back we're going to end up moving down there flick some rods out for a few hours and probably go to another stretch So after moving off that stretch this morning, we thought we'd nip into the stretch that we started on at the beginning to see if there's an opportunity. And it wasn't too long when I saw some fish swimming left and right over the spot and this one dropped down. It's pretty special this one, isn't it? Can't yeah. wait to get my red book out. 
and hopefully there's a couple more bites before we move on to another stretch. What do I say, mate? That's it, mate. She's a cool one. Cool one, ain't she? Yeah. Beautiful. Should we get her back, mate? Yeah. So. Try to get another. Oh, we've got one now. Looks like the one was shown over you. <laughs> it probably is, but yeah. Nice move that mate. You find that Yes, good lad. Well done, mate. Sad, was it? Oh. Well, you all have just seen his doms common. Like you said, we've had a few hours stalking, just on a stretch where we started off. And yeah, one a piece, mate. It's all right, isn't it? Good start. Absolutely bang on, mate. That's what we've come for. We've grafted over the last few days some bites. It's coming we've a good at the end, miles, mate. mate haven't we? we have, mate, yeah. But right, let's get a slip back, head to a different stretch. Let's go, mate. For the night. Good man. Move stretches. Holly just literally cast his rod out. He just went to clip the bobbin on, it's gone in his hand. That's coming. Give you the run around all, yeah. Not bad common that mate, not a bad one. Well that's for singles all that. <laughs> <laughs> don't need any bait.
Bosh, got him! Well done, mate. Good lad. Well, we've just turned up to a stretch where we planned on doing tonight. The rod was only out a few minutes and yeah, this was the result. Can't complain. The last night, and what way to start it off. Happy days, mate. Well done, mate, well done. Let's get a slip back. Ugh. Just be careful, mate. evening in Belgium having a beer and yeah this one <laughs> melted off absolute one toner but yeah happy days still got the night to go we'll see what happens won't we mate that's it mate that's it currently got water going down the back of my waders have you yeah yeah man mega yeah let's let it go <laughs> Well, we're chilling out, mate. Give us an update from today. Where do we start, mate? Today's been chaos. We've had a really, really like productive day on the fishing front as well, which is always a bonus. We've moved three or four times, been to three different stretches today, and we've managed to catch from them all, haven't we? Yeah, yeah we've had some decent fish as yeah. well. Yeah, too, right, mate. But yeah, we've not really had much time to sit down and actually speak. Yeah, honest. speak to the camera really. We've been nah. we've been that busy unloading the van, loading the van, getting to different stretches. It's just been manic, hasn't it, yeah. mate? But here we are, final night, home time tomorrow, afternoon. Have a few beers, some tea, which I'm really looking forward to because we've not really ate. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, so far, see what happens, mate. See what happens during the night? Yeah. All right. I'm sure we might have something to show you in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully, mate. So then, that's a wrap. We're on the way home. Not much else happened last night. You looked like this morning, didn't you? Yeah, it was a pretty quiet night, wasn't it, really? We had a good night's sleep, though. Yeah. It was pretty yeah. needed. We yeah. were both absolutely knackered, so. Yeah, a lot better to have a good night's sleep, but. Yeah, that's it for now. On the fish front, it was a bit quiet, but after all the farrowing, the walking, the loading the van, it was nice to get a good night's sleep, so I can't complain. All I had a few nights off from that stretch, so <laughs> it was a nice way to end, really. Yeah, uh, overall it's been successful on it, both cars. That's what it's all about, mate. It's all about. So, we're on the way home, as all said, and then we're back out again in three weeks. So, let's see what happens in three weeks. Well, three weeks from now, but when they see this video, oh, yeah. we'll already be. We've already been, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah. 
day, man. Yeah, well, yeah, there'll be another video about that trip as well, so. We'll see. We'll see. But now, see you there. See you there.